Within this lesson, we will solve division word problems involving multi-digit division with group size unknown and the number of groups unknown. Lamar has 1,354.5 kilograms of potatoes to deliver equally to 18 stores. Twelve of the stores are in the Bronx. How many kilograms of potatoes will we deliver to the stores in the Bronx? Will the amount delivered to the stores in the Bronx be more or less than half of the total amount of potatoes delivered? Right, more than half, because there are more than half of the stores are in the Bronx. There's 12 stores. Let's draw a tape diagram. There's our tape diagram, and there we are thinking about what it is it means to have 12 stores. Let's take 1,354.5 and divide it first by 18. So we'll get the amount for one store. 7 times 8, 56, 6, regroup of 5, 7 times 1 being 7, plus 5 being 12. Subtract those, I get 9, 94, which is divisible by 5, 5 times 18 is 90, 94 and minus 90 is 4, bring down the 5, 45 divided by 18 is 2, because 2 times 18 is 36, and 45 minus 36 is 9. Add a 0, drop a 0, and 90 divided by 18 is 5. 5 times 18 is 90. 90 minus 90 is 0. So for each of these here, each of them is worth 75.25. Now I have to figure out how many 12 is worth. So I had 18 units equaling 1,354.5. I had one unit equal 75.25, and I want to find out 12 units, which is 75.25 times 12. Do that work for your problem set. Those are the amount of the potatoes that will be delivered to the Bronx when you figure this out. Valerie uses 12 fluid ounces of detergent each week for her laundry. If there are 75 fluid ounces of detergent in the bottle, how many weeks will she need to buy a new bottle of detergent? Here's a case where we don't know the total amount of groups. We want to figure out how many 12s there are within 75. Well, it looks like there's more than two for sure. So we don't know the total amount of groups. Twelve goes into seventy-five, six whole times. Six times twelve is seventy-two. Seventy-five minus seventy-two is three. Add a zero to drop a zero. Thirty divided by twelve is two, because two times twelve is twenty-four and 30 minus 24 is 6. Add another 0, drop a 0, 60 divided by 12 is 5, and we have our answer. There's 6 and a quarter 12s inside of 60. I'm sorry, inside of 75. Meaning that she will have to buy a new detergent after how many weeks? Right, after six weeks. Right out of sentence. A new bottle of detergent. The area of a rectangle is 56.96 square meters. If the length is 16 meters, what is the perimeter? They to help to draw a rectangle where the length is 16 meters. The area is 56.96 square meters. It's a division problem. 
but take 56.96 and divide it by 16 because the formula for an area of rectangle or a square is length times width. Sixteen goes into fifty-six three whole times. Three times sixteen is forty-eight. Then we subtract those two, we get eight. Bring down the nine. Eighty-nine divided by sixteen, I believe is five. Five times sixteen is eighty. Eighty-nine minus eighty is nine. Bring down the six. And that goes in evenly at six. Six times sixteen is ninety-six. Subtract it, we get zero. So the width is 3.56 meters. That's not what it's asking, though. It's asking what's the perimeter. So it's the distance around the figure. So we'll put another 16 here. And over here for the width, we also write 3.56. What do we do? Add those all together. Take 16 plus 3.56 plus 16 plus 3.56, and you will have the perimeter. Sixteen and sixteen is thirty-two. Three point five six and three point five six. Two, one, ten, eleven, one, one, six, seven, seven point one two. Thirty-two and seven point one two is thirty-nine. 0.12 meters. So the perimeter is 39.12 meters. A city block is three times as long as it is wide. If the distance around the block is 0 0.48 kilometers, what is the area of the block in square meters? So if the block is wide, this is the width. then the length is three times that amount. Now the other thing that we have to consider though is that, so we have the length being three times the width. Now the, for perimeter, that's length plus width plus length plus width. So let's make this one, two, three more there, and one more for the width. So we have eight units altogether, equaling 480 meters. I changed 0 0.48 kilometers in the meters to make it easier to solve. One unit then is equal to 480 divided by eight, which equals 60 meters. That means that our length which is three times the width, is 180 meters. And our width is 60 meters. Area, that's what we're trying to figure out, is equal to length times width. So take 180 and multiply by 60. And when we multiply those two together, we will get our answer. Ten thousand eight hundred square meters. Compare your work with the screen. The area of the block is ten thousand eight hundred square meters.